Today, we're diving deep into the world of open source intelligence, also known as OSINT, using our favorite Linux distribution, Kali Linux. Now, OSINT is all about gathering information from publicly available sources, and trust me, there's a lot more out there than you might think. Whether you're into cybersecurity, investigations, or just curious about the digital world, these tools are about to change your game. We're going to explore 10 of the latest and greatest OSINT tools that can help you find practically anyone online. I'm talking social media accounts, email addresses, online activity, you name it. So, if you're ready to become an OSINT ninja, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get started. First up, we have Sherlock. And no, I'm not talking about Benedict Cumberbatch. This Sherlock is a command line tool, like your personal detective for social media. Imagine trying to track down someone with a common name. Good luck finding the right John Smith on Facebook. That's where Sherlock comes in. It scours over 30 social media platforms for a username. Sherlock can tell you if that username pops up on Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and more. And the coolest part? Sherlock is incredibly easy to use. Just type a few commands and boom, you'll have a list of all the websites where that username is active. Next up is Spiderfoot. And this tool is like having your own personal OSINT agent working tirelessly in the background. While Sherlock is great for usernames, Spiderfoot takes a broader approach. It's all about automation and gathering as much information as possible from various sources. You give it a starting point, like an IP address, domain name, or even an email address, and it crawls the web, connecting the dots and building a comprehensive profile. We're talking about uncovering things like associated domain names, IP addresses, email addresses, subdomains, and even employee names. It's like having a spider web of information at your fingertips. And the best part, Spiderfoot can generate some pretty slick reports, visualizing all those connections in a way that's easy to understand. So, if you're serious about OSINT and want to automate your investigations, Spiderfoot is definitely worth checking out. Now let's talk about Maltego. This tool is all about taking raw data and turning it into something visual, something you can actually understand and use. Imagine you have a bunch of IP addresses, domain names, and email addresses. How do you make sense of it all? How do you find the connections, the relationships, the hidden patterns? That's where Maltego shines. It's like creating a mind map of your investigation. You start with a single piece of information, and Maltego branches out, creating a visual representation of all the connections. You can see how different entities are related, whether it's through shared IP addresses, domain registrations, or even social media connections. And the more data you feed into Maltego, the more comprehensive that map becomes. So, if you're a visual learner like me and want to see the big picture in your OSINT investigations, Maltego is the tool for you. Up next is the Harvester, and this tool is all about gathering those juicy bits of information that are often publicly available, but scattered across the web. We're talking about things like email addresses, subdomains, host names, and even employee names. The Harvester scours through various public sources, including search engines, PGP key servers, and more to build a profile of your target. Let's say you're investigating a company. You can use the Harvester to quickly gather a list of all their known email addresses, which can be incredibly valuable for things like penetration testing or even just getting in touch with the right people. And the best part, the Harvester is incredibly versatile. You can use it to target specific domains, organizations, or even individuals. So if you're looking for a tool that can quickly gather a wealth of information from open sources, the Harvester is definitely worth adding to your OSINT toolkit. Let's dive into the world of Shodan. It's not just about finding people, but devices, servers, webcams, industrial control systems. Shodan is like Google, but it indexes devices connected to the internet. It's like a giant map of the internet of things, fascinating and a bit scary. Want to see a live feed from a security camera? Shodan can help you with that. Its power lies in exposing vulnerabilities. Researchers use it to find improperly configured devices. Up next is Recon Aang, and this tool is all about reconnaissance, which is basically the art of gathering information about a target before you even think about launching an attack. And when it comes to web reconnaissance, Recon Aang is the real deal. It's a powerful framework written in Python that gives you all the tools you need to gather information about websites, domains, and the people behind them. Think of it like this. Recon Aang is like a toolbox, and each tool is designed for a specific task. 
You can use it to discover subdomains, find hidden directories, identify email addresses, and so much more. One of the things I love about reconning is its modularity. You can customize it to your heart's content, adding new modules and scripts as you need them. It's like building your own custom reconnaissance platform. So if you're serious about web application security or just want to learn more about a particular website, Recon Eng is definitely worth checking out. Now let's talk about Senses, another powerful search engine that gives you a glimpse into the vast landscape of the internet. Senses is like Shodan's sophisticated cousin. It scans the entire internet, collecting data on every device connected to it. But unlike Shodan, Census goes a step further, providing you with detailed information about each device, including its operating system, open ports, software versions, and even the certificates it uses. Think of it like this. Census gives you a fingerprint of every device on the internet. This information is incredibly valuable for security researchers and analysts. You can use it to identify misconfigured devices, track down vulnerabilities, and even get a better understanding of how different organizations are securing their systems. Census is a powerful tool for anyone who needs to understand the internet at a deeper level. Up next is FOCA, a tool that's all about metadata. Now, metadata is basically data about data. It's the hidden information embedded in files that most people don't even know exists. FOCA specifically targets documents, things like PDFs, Word documents, and spreadsheets. It digs deep into these files, extracting information like author names, creation dates, modification times, and even the software used to create them. Why is this important? Well, metadata can reveal a lot about a document and the people who created it. For example, let's say you're investigating a leaked document. By analyzing its metadata, you might be able to determine who created it, when it was last modified, and even where it was created. This information can be incredibly valuable in verifying the authenticity of a document or even tracking down its source. Now, let's move on to the Social Engineer Toolkit, or SET for short. This tool is a bit different from the others on our list because it's not just about gathering information, it's about using that information to influence people. SET is a powerful framework for conducting social engineering attacks, which are basically attacks that rely on human interaction and deception. Think of it like this. SET is like a toolkit for building convincing phishing attacks, creating fake websites, and even impersonating legitimate organizations. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds a little bit shady, right? And you're not wrong. Social engineering is a powerful technique that can be used for both good and evil. Security professionals use SET to test the security awareness of their employees and to identify vulnerabilities in their defenses. But in the wrong hands, SET can be used to steal information, spread malware, and even gain access to sensitive systems. Last but not least, we have the OSINT framework. This isn't a single tool, but rather a collection of resources, tools, and methodologies for conducting open source intelligence investigations. Think of it as your OSINT command center. It's a website that organizes a vast amount of information and resources into categories, making it easy to find the right tool for the job. Whether you're looking for tools to investigate social media, analyze websites, track down email addresses, or even explore the dark web, the OSINT framework has got you covered. It's a constantly evolving resource, with new tools and techniques being added all the time. So if you're serious about OSINT, the OSINT framework is an absolute must-have bookmark. And there you have it, folks. Ten of the latest and greatest OSINT tools in Kali Linux that can help you find anyone online. We've covered a lot of ground today, from social media investigations to network reconnaissance and everything in between. Remember, knowledge is power, but it's important to use these tools responsibly and ethically. Always respect people's privacy and never use these tools for illegal activities. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos on the latest in tech and cybersecurity. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.